Israel is in a tough, tough spot. They've had nukes around the world planted and uh -huh. planted in 25 American cities. They had them planted in the Vatican and various places. But the, the uh, nuclear snake eaters, it's a very elite group from the United States, has been going around and disarming these things, at least in the United States. So they're losing their power. Plus, uh, they were told that if, if, if another nuke goes off inside the United States, Israel is going to be turned to glass overnight. And so uh, I, think, I think they're in kind of a tough situation. Um, uh, more and more people are against Netanyahu, but but you're right. They're just going to keep on killing the Palestinians, genociding them, taking their land. They figure nobody can do anything. But it will come back to them because it's, they're being seen as apartheid. It's all kind of come back to them. They're they're not going to get out of this. But the minute the Federal Reserve sinks, they're done. Yeah, the whole thing is going to implode. Aid from them, and uh, uh, you know the world is turning against them. It's just a matter of time. They're done, and that's why they wanted the Ukraine. Ukraine was they were going to go back to their homeland. That was to be the new Israel, and of course that now that's failing. No, that's they've lost it. Up. No, not going to happen. And and so I, I think I think uh, I think Israel's in a very tough spot. They've been you know fully exposed on the internet. People are catching on by the day to what they are, but they're so two faced. Here's the thing, Jeff. You ask after ask yourself. Who is creating all the problems in the United States with this excess of illegal immigration? It is the Israelis. It is the Likudis. It is it it, it is these these uh, bad absolutely Talmudists. And yet yeah. they're total two-faced hypocrites because they won't allow any of that in their country, but they're pushing it here. Now the reason they're doing it is because they're creating a massive uh, left, like they are in Europe now, and pushing all these you know Soros and all these these uh, Likudis cutouts are are paying for for all these uh, immigrants from Syria stuff to go up there and, and with secret terrorist cells embedded. But the reason the reason they're doing that is because they're they want to inf they want to break down the existing order, break down the language, the culture and the borders. And and, and how and can so the Euro I'm sorry, I, yeah, how no. can the Europeans allow this? Where are the men or and the women over there to stand up for their heritage, their culture? How did they ever get steamrolled into the EU in the first place? Well, I, I still don't how, get it. What would you think if I told you that the guy that started the EU and all the top EU people are all hardcore pedophiles and Satan worshippers? Well, I know. You know me well enough. I know that. I know that's when I, this that's what Remember the Temple Arch of Baal yeah. was supposed to go in Times Square on the 19th yep. and the same day in Trafalgar Square in London? Yes. The pedophile centers of the world were going to get the first two, and supposedly around 998 more of these arches, 48 feet tall, right. 23 feet wide, were going to go into cities all around the world and other places of strategic interest and importance, de facto dedicating the planet to uh, Luciferian Satanism. That's what they. That's, that's what right. it was all about. Which is Babylonian Talmudism. Thank, oh, thank you. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Yep. And so you see, but they they create a big Democratic Party. They love Hillary Clinton stuff. They create as much sexual perversion and filth as they possibly can. They bring in drugs to dirty people up because there's safety in minorities. If they can get, bring all you know, bring all these immigrants in, these poor people and stuff, there's safety in it. Now I'm going to tell you how. They pulled this off in Europe. The way they pulled, you got to understand, Merkel is in Germany. I have a, a friend that's German. He told me in Germany, the common man believes that Merkel is is Hitler's daughter. This has been in there. Oh, I've there. seen that story, and I I'll tell you, I, she looks she, just like him. Take her take her picture, put a mustache on it, and it's a ringer. Now she's you know to add a little bit of fuel to this, she allegedly was an orphan came through an orphanage, has no yeah, parents. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, figure it out. Now, well, you, you I could tell you a lot more about that. So the, it, Hitler and Eva Brown supposedly had a boy and a girl. Right. Uh, this it, is true. In the American intelligence files, that is the official position. Oh, it is. I and, didn't and know that. another one in their uh -huh. files, too, who I've gotten from a very high individual, is that Todd, Tom, you know, uh, what's his name, Chris Todd? Uh-huh. He's Stalin's son. His mother was vacationing after World War II in Russia with the social elites in the Communist Party and had a little date with Stalin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard that one before? Yeah, I have. Yeah. So, I mean, the bottom line is is these Babylonian Talmudists, they have two standards. They push all this crap on everybody else, but they don't want it in their, in their living room. But, you know, the United States is nothing but a province of Israel. It has and, been, and, yep. 
And the uh, Israel itself is nothing but an action agent for the Rothschild Kazarian Mafia. And of course, the Rothschild family paid for their Knesset. A, a friend of mine who is Jewish, and he's a, a, a Torah Jew, and he's a very good man. Mm-hmm. And he went to Israel, and he had got went on a tour through the Knesset. Mm-hmm. And he hates Satanism and, and Freemasonry also. And he said the thing is like a shrine to Freemasonry. He said it's all satanic, top to bottom, and he was horrified and angry. I and believe it. On the plaque, it said it was paid for by courtesy of the Rothschild. Remember, if you read uh, 1962 in the Congressional Record, the... Uh the basic goals of communism in America, they're all there. I've got, you can do, it, yeah. do a search at Rents, you'll read them. Just put uh, Communist Goals Congress, and I think you'll find it. Uh, read them. And certainly one of the, Preston knows this better than anybody, one of the keys was to destroy the American family. That's yeah, what that's happened. Funny. That's why 19, the 1950s were the last great years of this country in terms of family life, values, and all that. And they went after it in the 60s, free sex, free love. And now, I just read a story the other day. I posted, um, what was it? High school kids in these formerly United States are big time into anal sex. Yeah, yeah. Okay? These are little kids, 15, 16 years old. Now, what's well, left for them when they're okay 20? Because there's, there's no chance of pregnancy. That's what they're, they're telling them. Oh, they're That's passing what, it off on that birth, con- yeah, birth but control But they're teaching stuff. them that in school. Oh, know I know. It's, it's, it's in the curriculum. It's crazy. It's, no, it's beyond crazy. It's evil. And, and you know, and thanks for bringing it up, this country, late dear friends, and all major governments in the West, and probably many in the East, it's a worldwide thing, are run by pedophile Satanist perverts. We're talking about human sacrifice, human slavery, perversions beyond measure. And that's what they did at the, the Temple of Baal uh, 2,000 years ago. You got it. You got it. And that's, that's why the arch. Is. That's what a late-term abortion is. You know, a lot of the kids oh, abortion. sure. It's a human sacrifice. But, Jeff, I wanted to explain to you the mechanism by which they have taken these European leaders and turned them around 180 degrees Please. with a smile on their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the first thing is they have given them drugs. They've all taken junk into Israel. They've drank the Kool-Aid. A little tube comes through their five-star hotel room at night. There's a puff of gas. The guys in the white suit, the respirators come in. They hook them up to an IV bag, a plastic little roll, hypnol, and various hypnotics. They hook up electrodes to their head, and they do a job on them. Okay, that's the first stage. Stage two is they're sensitive. They, they've had uh, heavy metals injected into them, migrating into the brain that are magnetic. They, they, they can generate signals to activate a suggestibility huh. um, through Wi-Fi, satellite, and whatever. Uh-huh. And then what they do is they remind them, you know, when you went through these stages of initiation, you got to remember now, um, you got to be on board with this. If you're not, there are, you know, they'll say, it, it won't be us, but there's other factions in our group that have videos of you at the initiations and all these things. Well, they just oh, show them a few yeah. pictures, of course. Yeah. We can't stop them. They'll go to the media and stuff. We, you know, we'll... The only way we can protect you is you can play ball and walk the straight and narrow according to our policies. If you veer, there's nothing we can do to protect you. you know, you're dead one way or the other. Uh, it's, yeah. See what it is. It's international uh, globalist, Zionist, ta- Talmudist blackmail. That's yes. what they do. Yes. You got it. And it's very effective. So here now you got Merkel and you got the premier of, uh, 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 of Norway and, and, and I think Denmark and Sweden. They're going around saying, we need to accept these poor people. Their culture is actually superior to ours. Sharia law, we have a lot to learn from them, you know, and all this crap. I mean, so your your position is they've all been made. They've all been compromised. They've all right. been turned. Well, and it makes people. sense. That's really the only thing that does make sense. Well, look at all the people in Congress who have taken these ball pay, expense paid junkets to Oh, sure. Law enforcement and stuff. But what do you think happens in Israel? Do you think that they, they get these five-star hotel rooms, folks? Do you think that there aren't full digital recording devices in every room? <laughs> do you think that they aren't turned and they go home? Hi, dear. Oh, it was a wonderful trip. How are the kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, well, we they've, been, they've been shown pictures. By the way, this is what you did when you were in Tel Aviv or whatever. Right. It's so old. It's old stuff. Well, we it's had old reports. stuff. We had reports that... Some top military people were there, and when they got there, they were taken to the Israeli tennis resort or five star and all that stuff. But what they did is they walked in a bunch of young, you know, minor girls and boys and said, Who would you like to pick for your tennis coach for the weekend? And it was a sexual thing. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, th- th- and you know, it's like Vegas, whatever happens here stays here and stuff. And, of course, everything is totally filmed and all this. But the message is always, too, when they come in, it's always, well, we would never do this, but we've been hacked and compromised. And there are people that, you know, that, that are loosely associated with us that are still on our team, but that they are uncontrollable, and they're very hardcore now. If you stay on the party line, you'll be okay. We can protect you. But if you veer off and if they have any doubts about you, these people will do desperate things. So we, at that point, we can't help you. That, you know, so it's always crap like that. They've got them all. Anybody that goes to, and I've known people in the military, one guy I respect very much who went there on a junket, and he just happens to be Jewish, but he's a good guy, but he came back armed. If I bring up anything bad about the Likuda stuff, he goes nuts and starts swearing at me. Then I'll call him up the really? next day. Really? Everything oh, he's conditioned. Fine. Wow. You know, where he, like he doesn't even remember it. Wow. Yeah, it's like, it's it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. So, number one, if you're a politician, don't take any money from APAC. Number two, don't sign the APAC. And don't go, if you're a cop, you know, police chief or something, don't go to Israel on an all explained anti-terrorism junket. And don't, you know, you say, well, you, you know, if you drink out of their, their, their bottles that are closed, if you order, you, a lot of these guys until are so paranoid, they won't drink out of an open glass or bottle. They, they want a beer, you know, with a, a yeah. key in the can or whatever. Yeah. What they don't know is, is, is these things are all specially manufactured. They, you know, anything you get oh, there sure. is do- doped, see. You know, oh, yeah. Things, Bottle, you know, it doesn't matter. Nice, uh, secure, twist-top knob on it, doesn't matter. It's all, you know, it's, it's all like si- the old side tech, you know, in Texas. You There's know, a you know, great know. screenplay, Preston, a movie about how this stuff is done. Uh, you know, I'd, I've heard about this for years, but you just, you just hit, put it all to rest. Uh, I suspected it. You've got you've got better sources than I. And this this is the only thing that makes sense as to why Europe's leaders rolled over. The only thing they were compromised. Yep. Well, that and is it, true. It, it is true. Be. God, unbelievable. Well, the other thing is, there's this phenomenon, you know, where they strip a person's soul, and if and and they believe that if they can get a person to do enough oppositional things, to do enough evil things, that at some point they lose their soul, and then they can be replaced with this, this, the spirit of Lucifer, and, and, and the, that, that they will automatically want to serve Lucifer. They believe that, if they can dirty him up enough. And they, you know, they're probably right, because it seems to be working. Well, the sad, the sad thing is, people like that, they've lost their soul, they don't know it, they, they'll just run a, a protocol of, of complete destruction of human relationships to serve whatever it is that they're after. I'm not saying that they're not capable of assembling their own ugly agendas, but many of them are controlled. They're no longer human. They really aren't human. No, that's right. And you know this. You've been, If you don't know Preston James, he's been involved with uh, psychiatry, counseling, and, and high-level stuff uh, in in the profession for well over thirty years, and he knows mind control better than anyone else I know, uh, and I know him fairly well. But he knows, and when he speaks, you got to understand this. We are every every city and every country, uh, especially this country. Let's just keep it here. Every city and town has its own pedophile satanic power base. All right, and usually they control the town. They got the judges, they got the politicians, they yep. got the cops, they got the big business people, okay? Many of them are, are Masons. They start out as ignorant Masons. Most Masons don't know about this stuff. That's but right. They'll, they'll pull from the ranks those who are in key positions, compromise them, push them over the top, turn them around, program them, and they own the town. They own the town. Them, reward them for, for doing Oh, anything. they get, are you kidding? Endless money. No interest loans. No problem. None of it. It's all... And it's, here's the thing, it's, Jeff. I, know, I, I was told years ago from a very, very high-ranking intel person that almost every major police department in the country is infiltrated by... It has a CIA guy in there. Oftentimes a knock, you know, no, no, no official cover and stuff. And they will be in there. And what they will do is they will compromise various leaders in the city, whatever, but they will run interference for the satanic cults because the satan, every satanic cult... Every occult network in the United States of America has been deputized under national security as an agent of national security. 
Oh, so my. they have complete mm -hmm. immunity, and they use them to do hits. They mm -hmm. use them to do gang stalking. Mm -hmm. They use them to do harassments, and they hide in there. They use them to launder money and all these things, but they cannot be arrested or stopped. Now, you know, the only person that ever arrested and prosecuted them? Janet Reno. Oh, no wonder she had a breakdown. Yeah, and she, but she did it in Florida. See, Janet Reno was a very conflicted person. I know somebody that knew her. And she, um, in Florida, prosecuted a, a, a satanic cult Whoops. successfully. Whoops. Now, she um, had like 29 DWI arrests and was caught in the back seat making it with female prostitutes. Uh-huh. You know, uh -huh. and, and, and she had a farm down in Florida, and she had 29 um, peacocks that she, I, I, can't, I can't remember the name she called them. She had a weird satanic name she called them. But anyway, these, these, so she was off the rails. But what happened is she was a hardcore alcoholic. So, but she did not like this satanic stuff. So she came down on it. Well, then they compromised her and said, listen, we have big plans for you, but if you ever do this again, you're finished. So then she got back on track, and she fixed an election down there. Uh -huh. it wasn't the Bush thing, but she fixed an election. And her reward for that was to be, and, and plus she she didn't cross uh, Bush. When Bush ran the South Florida Task Force, she didn't cross him with any of the drug stuff. She was attorney general in Florida. So they said, okay, your reward is going to be U.S. Attorney General. You've been a good player. Well, when it came to Waco, she could not order them to go in and finish them off. She that's right. Do it. Well, that was a human sacrifice. That's right. she, she could not yeah. do it. And she shook and cried and everything else, and she was in the White House in the Oval Office with Bill and Hillary. She had a breakdown. Bill, yeah, and Bill said, I washed my hands of this, and Hillary and said, And Hillary right, said, Damn do it. it, I'll do it. And she said, burn those little bastards. Yeah. Was it? All true. I've heard this before. 